Hey guys, Tim here with TimKipTutorials.com and in this uh, tutorial lesson we're going to be using PHP to convert a MySQL date timestamp which sort of looks like this right here into a user-friendly string. So if you notice like over here in our forums here uh, we'll just go into a post and we'll go into Mr. Unknown's YouTube channel online post and you can see right here June 3rd 2011 2.47 p.m. is what string we're going to be creating. So basically this will turn into a readable format like that. Um, the first thing we need to do is I'm going to point out some websites that I looked up and would be good information for you. On the php.net website I just looked up the string to time um, function and basically what that does is it will parse any English textual time or date time description due to Unix timestamp. Basically, um, over here on the PHP date function, um, it needs a timestamp value to be uh, used and converted. So that's why we're using the string to time because you'll see why in just a second. So we're just going to go in here. I'm using Notepad plus plus, and I have my um, HTML web page right here. We're going to be using a little bit of PHP at the top, so we're going to open and close PHP blocks at the top. And I've saved my file name to convert underscore date time dot PHP. Um, all right. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be converting this into a string that look like this right here. All right. So we're gonna. All we need to do is we're gonna create a PHP function. We're gonna say function convert. You can name it whatever you like. I'm just using convert, and we're gonna pass a parameter. We're gonna call it date. So whenever you call this function, you need to pass parameters into it in order for it to work. And inside of here, we're going to put dollar sign date is equal to. We're gonna type the word date, open and close parentheses, and it with a semicolon. Inside of those parentheses, we're gonna type a string format which is um, over here on PHP date string format is the first parameter that you need to pass second one is a timestamp so string format you can use any of these characters below and you can see over here like if you use D it will convert 1 into 0 1 stuff like that so just read through this um, you have your months years time time zone stuff like that read through and see which one you want and in the first one, we're going to have to enclose these in two double quotes or single quotes, whatever you like. So inside of this, the double quotes, we're going to type capital M space J comma space Y. And we're going to space again. And we're going to type lowercase g, a colon, a lowercase i, and a lowercase a. And then after the double quotes, we're going to put a comma. And then we need to pass the timestamp. So we're going to say str t o t i m for string to time, open and close parentheses. And inside of there, we need to pass um, a string to be converted into Unix timestamp. So the string, or the time that we want, can differ, uh, sorry, I can't talk right now, converted is date. So we're going to just pass the date variable right there. And maybe confusing because I'm using date here and date here. So we're just going to say converted date right there not to be confused then all we need to do is return converted date Let's see if I spell that right and then down here I'm just gonna add horizontal rule and we're just gonna say this is an example of how the date time field looks after converting And then inside these paragraph tags, we're going to have to use PHP, and we need to echo out. Um, we need to run our function, convert, and then inside there, we need to pass a date. So I'm just going to pass a string, so two uh, quotes, let's finish it off with the parentheses, semicolon, and the PHP tags. And this is a string I'm going to pass in. Paste that in there, save it. We're going to go refresh our page right here. And we have this is an example of how to demonstrate or how the date time looks after conversion. June 9th, um, 2011, 
11.25 p.m. So, um, we go back here over here. I'll just show you how to change the... Say we want June to actually say the word June instead of uh, abbreviate. So, right now we have um, a capital F... Or, I'm sorry, we have a capital M, sh short representation... And if we want the full representation, we just say F. So if we go back here into our code, and we ch can change our big M to a capital F, save that and save it out, go back to our page, refresh, and now we have June. So that's how, sort of how you can modify it, just like that. Um, for those of you wondering how MySQL is involved in all of this, basically in your PHP code up here, you'd be running your MySQL queries, to gather the date time field from the database and then you would store it in a variable so state store um, database value into a variable so we'll just say using this example we're just going to say db date act like that's drawn. Usually you'd use like a row, so fetch array and all that stuff. Um, but this is not what this example is for. So basically what you do is just, this would be the string that would be coming back from your database. Just for an example, and then down here all you would have to do is pass the variable in. So $db date. Save that, refresh, and you'll see we get the same thing. So, alright. So that does it for converting a MySQL date time field into a user-friendly string. And also the websites again are um, php.net, look up string to time, you can type it over here in the search box, and the same with date. And over here on the dev.mysql.com, um, there's just some um, reference material on date, time, date, and timestamp. So it basically shows you what it looks like and goes through um, examples and stuff like that, other information that's relevant. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment on our site, post on our forums. You do have to be a um, member or a user on my site to post on the forums. Um, but other than that, all the content is free. So this will be posted under the latest video tutorials when you have it. It will also be under the PHP MySQL video tutorials right there. So hope you enjoy. See you next time.